Well, here we are, day three, or I should say the. <clears throat> so I went and got us a new starter, a starter for a 97 Dakota, which would be smaller and should give us the clearance we need along this tight spot here around the header where the starter was actually hitting against the side of the header. I don't want to keep bashing it anymore if I don't have to, so hopefully this will work. Let's see. All right, so an update from down under. The new starter actually does fit really good under here and looks like the clearance that I made for it the other night on the header, if you can see right here in the header tube, I beat a nice dent in it so it kind of fits a nice dome shape and then the wires here can pass through in between and not be resting on the header tubes and I could wrap them with some exhaust wrap just to protect them so I think we're going to be alright here. I'm pretty happy now. Let's uh, get this finished up. So we got Alex underneath now holding the header for me as I am situating up top the wires going across to the header which I've got wrapped in a heat shield wrap and the one wire, the larger stud, is a little bit too short. This one here, so I'm gonna have to disconnect the starter regulator and move it down in location on the fender wall so it'll give it a little bit more length so I can get it across there and not have it rubbing right on the header, so. Sorry, babe, you gotta hang on a little longer. <laughs> Starter's now bolted to the engine. I've got the wires fed down under the chassis, protected, and you can see here we've actually got a good like inch and a half of clearance all the way around between the header on both sides. And the heat wrap is definitely protected too. Those wires are now connected to the top of the starter on the poles where they need to go. The starter regulator here just was right there. Probably just gonna remove it right here just to give us a little bit more slack in this line. Uh, and now I'm just going through and getting these header bolts put in and then we can lower the engine back down and hopefully see that it doesn't touch on anything. I'm smiling because I'm hoping that we did it. The motor is in there. Alex is putting the last piece of the puzzle on right now. Spark plug wire. Sorry for my crappy camera action. All right, last plug wire is on, babe. What do you think? This is a big pan, yeah. <laughs> That's an understatement. This is so much work. If it was a Ford though, I wouldn't have made it here. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a leaky old Dodge. It left puddles coming here, but at least it made it. And it's about to drive out. So take a look at that, boys and girls. Yeah, the motor's still gonna come out eventually and get repainted and stuff, but it looks pretty fresh. Everything's really nice. RN, real nice. <laughs> at least everything that you touched is really nice. Yeah, thank you. I think so. So looking underneath. That looks nice. And you can see right here how nicely I got the header domed around the starter and it fits real good. It's in there like swimwear. Yeah. Lower that engine down. Come on down. It's good. Is that it? Yeah. Hell yeah. Moment. I thought why you went at art. Oh wow, yeah. Should I crank it? Crank it, babe. Do it. I'm scared. Hit it. it. Sounds nice. Well, that's a good sign. Number one, the starter. The starter. starter doesn't rattle. It sounds so good. It does. It sounds way good. It does! And it goes though! Yeah, yeah babe! Celebrate, go get some Arby's. <laughs> yes. Excited. Well, now that it's running really good, sounds good, cranks up on the hit of the key, which is really nice, oil change time. So let's get underneath this thing, pop that drain plug, 
Let that old oil drain out. All right, so we just dropped the oil, and the last little bits are draining out. It's the pan. We'll get this new oil put in. So yeah, it was looking a little dark. It had been a minute since it was changed, so it's a good thing. We'll go ahead and do this. This is stuck, contorted while I adjust the camera tripod here. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Yeah, I'm your cameraman. You are. You're my everything. <laughs> and try not to make a mess over our brand new headers. And here. Missed a little bit. Not too bad though. Let's see where our level's at. One last little thing that we're gonna do, the wiper arm actually came off here, so we got the cowl off. We're gonna get the new wiper linkage bushings on there, and hopefully these will do the job, and then we can have Alex's full wipage. And this should be keyed like that and connected, so let's go for it. Probably go up to the arm first, like that. Snap that all together like that. Use the stack. There she blows. So these are not fun to get on at all, but uh, I took this nice ratcheting plier here and you have to like get the one side the pushing on the top first and then kind of get it on the stud to the bottom and then kind of squeeze them both together like this and now you can see the stud kind of showing through the clearness of the, the bushing so now we're attached so let's give her a go babe try them out sweet Looks like we are operating for what we did. Nice. Road trips, here we come. A little thing that's been bothering Alex on this truck here is you have to slam this door to get it shut. So just like, all right, let's adjust the striker. So just took an Allen key here real quick, loosened up the striker, moved it out maybe an eighth of an inch. Now when you go to shut the door, watch this. Like factory, like butter. But I guarantee you, people will still slam the fucking doors. Probably will. That's. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, babe. That's like the biggest pet peeve. Oh yeah, slamming your doors. Slamming doors and people are driving slow. Yes. Don't slam our doors and get out of the left lane if you're driving slow. <laughs> oh yes, it's like magic. Oh, really? Oh, I think I know someone that can handle that. Let's uh, take a look. I know, I'm used to the old way. Oh my God. Let's see what we got here. All right. All right, so let's get this guy out here too. Good. moved in 40 years. Money! Thank you! You're welcome. <laughs> That's right. Take care of your ladies. Make sure their door shuts easy. All right, so we've done so much on this truck. Adjusted the doors, fixed the wiper blades, oil change, the headers, the starter. So without any further ado, crank that thing up, babe. Pop it open and let's get her out. Mission accomplished. Oh, <laughs> forgot.
forgot the brick under the tire. Get it, babe. truck <laughs> nice that cute girl driving her home Accomplished the truck runs good. It's incredibly loud just the way she wanted it. Couldn't ask for any more. Thank you guys for watching. Tune in for the next madness that we have.